So we've, we've already gone over the trainer, but I wanted to kind of follow up on an item that you're gonna be using quite a bit that's maybe a little bit more tricky, and those are called terminal blocks. Now, this is a group of five terminal blocks, and you can kind of, you can look around and see them. What, and what these are, are, this one's actually a distribution block. We're gonna use it, we're gonna have like a power wire coming in, and then five or six wires leaving it, because this rail across here Makes the, it makes it common, okay, so that every terminal block has the same amount of power. You'll Most of the time you'll see these um, all throughout an electrical panel, and they'll have an input wire coming in and an output wire from that terminal block, and most of the time it's like they'll go to a, you know, a sensor or something like that. That way if they have to replace something, it's really easy just to unscrew it, pull it out. They don't have to constantly be adding it into the PLC or something like that. Plus, it gives you some arsenal, uh, awesome troubleshooting terminals to work with. But what I wanna do right now is I just wanna show you how to put a wire into it. So I already have a wire that is stripped back about 5 16 of an inch or so, which is kind of about what I'd like to see everybody doing. I'm gonna take a flat tip screwdriver. I'm gonna use my smaller flat tip screwdriver for these ones. It might be possible to use the bigger flat tip, flat tip screwdrivers. It's totally up to you and if they fit in, okay? Now, I don't know if you can kind of see down in there, there's actually some jaws. Now, and they, they'll move up and down. You can just barely see how they're moving up and down as I'm loosening or tightening up this, uh, this screw here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our, our, um, our wire, we're gonna slip it inside of there so that that way that the metal or the metal you know, jaws are actually gonna make contact with our stripped wire, or the, br or the copper part of that wire. Then we're going to, and I'm trying to see if I can do this, show you guys what's happening. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna tighten down that terminal, okay? Now after it's good and tight, I can't pull my wire out of it, okay? But why I wanna show you guys this is because it's a little bit more tricky to you know get the wires in, get them tightened down, okay? so. I really wanted to show you this because we use them all over the place. We're using distribution blocks. We're gonna have our main power coming into our trainers um, through terminal blocks. We're gonna use these all over the place and you're gonna be using these all over the place when it's your maintenance mechanic. So that's how you, you guys will use them. That's how they, they obviously, they tighten on with the screwdriver. You're gonna have wires going into them. They do clip directly to our DIN rail. I usually have mine mounted right here and they just, they just pop right on, okay? So if you guys got any questions about terminal blocks or need help getting those wires in there for the first time, let me know. They're kind of tricky, but otherwise I think, I think you guys will figure it out after a little bit, okay? So good luck.